Parent Cafe. This morning, uh, Head of Primary Maths, uh, Carla Hurd, Ms. Hurd, is going to be speaking, as is Year 4 team leader, Mr. Drury, Ben Drury, and then myself. I'm Mr. Lucchese. I'm new to Chatsworth this year, and I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit about maths in Year 5. I'm Year 5 teacher. So, as this is uh, a workshop, we're going to try to model with you how we would approach uh, our learning with the children. As such, we would like to do a pre-assessment with you. On the table there is a big piece of paper, and this is your opportunity to ask us questions, to think a little bit about the maths that you did at your time in school, and to think a little bit about what you think the maths here for your children looks like. By putting down your questions, by being able to think about what you think about maths, it gives us an opportunity to maybe change our workshop this morning and try to answer your specific questions. So, three things that we want you to consider, okay, we'll give you a couple of minutes. Number one, what do you already know about mathematics uh, in the PYP and also mathematics here at Chatsworth? Number two, how is it similar? How do you remember mathematics? How do you remember your favourite maths lessons, your least favourite lessons? And how do they compare? And then last of all, this morning, what would you really like to learn or find out or ask us? Okay? So, I know we've got two smaller groups. Uh, I can come over and give you guys another piece of paper. There are pens here. Let's give three minutes. And this is also a really good opportunity for you to just speak to the person next to you as well. Ask each other, why have you come here today? What are you hoping to find out? Okay? So two minutes, write down questions. You said three minutes. Three minutes. You look at the screen, don't you? Because if we don't get an opportunity to answer them today, obviously we can come back to you at a later point and give you information or point you in the right direction. Okay? As when we are teaching with our students and your children, it's really important to give them opportunities to stop, think about what they're learning, to be very active in the process of making important chapters and memorizing and setting all of their meaning in a clear framework and moving forward. So, um, Mr. Drury, could I ask you to just summarize uh, what this table has? Uh, uh, repetition. And okay. me memorising of, of, I would imagine, knowledge. Just, yeah. Calculating yeah. skill on how to develop three times three digits. So I'm probably thinking algorithms here. I'm thinking okay. very much column maths, as we probably call it as well. Solving number questions, but not in real life contexts. Yeah. So, and then the last one was focused on theory. Fantastic. It's always really interesting whenever you do workshops like this. People always go to the bad bits first. <laughs> <laughs> they always say, what was maths like? Horrible. <laughs> For me, it's like, I remember Mr. Campbell. I mean, I, I really do still remember my, my middle school maths teacher. And um, Miss Hurd, what over here have we got? Um, very textbook um, based, um, copying what the teacher wrote down. Um, the teacher not being able to help those children that were struggling. Um, individual learning. Um, lots of textbooks again. And just sitting behind the desk and just working, and also workbooks. Wonderful. Okay, so it's really important that we now have an idea of your very brief mathematical backgrounds. Hopefully this morning what we can show you is how the maths that your, uh, your children, our students, is, are doing is very, very different to that. And hopefully we can give you some insight into the types of activities that we do here in Chatsworth. Now, the second essential element to any unit is a central, uh, a central idea. A main point that we are going to try to explore that's going to unify this workshop this morning. So, what we're hopeful is that by making our students aware of how important creativity is, by giving them the opportunity to become creative mathematicians, they will indeed become lifelong mathematicians. And it's so important that as well as giving children mathematical skills, we give them that joy of maths so that they don't just see maths as a subject here at Chatsworth, but as an important part of their life, uh, for the rest of their life as learners. So, we're going to be investigating three uh, 
uh, line to inquiry. Number one, as you have said, you've shown us what maths was like for you. This morning, Mr. Drury, myself, and Ms. Hurd are going to do three activities so that you can get a sense of what mathematics at Chatsworth looks like. Number two, we're going to give you some ideas and some things that we value in terms of cultivating creativity. And then last of all, we want to give you resources and ideas so that you can feel confident supporting your students or your children, our students at home. So, very, very quickly, I just want to illustrate how maths is different from the maths that I certainly did at school and probably from the maths that you're writing about <laughs> on those reflection sheets. Number one is that in PYP mathematics, we give equal value to three stages of maths learning. And we think that maths learning is at its best when a teacher prepares and plans for these three stages. So, a lot of what you wrote down was this stage of maths learning. Transferring meaning, which means, my teacher's done it, how do I show him I've done it? Or, this is the one way that our teacher does things, this is the one way that I'm going to write things down. Now, of course, this is incredibly important because we want students to be confident, talking, discussing, sharing, and ultimately teaching someone else what their understanding is. Applying with understanding. This came in probably when we were, well, definitely when I was at school, in the guise of, oh, get them to look at problems. Don't just do maths, get them to add up pencils. Well, why are they adding up pencils? But applying with understanding is this idea that students need to be able to use the math skills that we are teaching and that we are all learning together. But they need to apply that with understanding. There needs to be context. Why am I doing this? What is the reason? Am I doing this because Mr. Drury has asked me to do it? Or am I doing this because this is important finding out the next step in my learning. And then the stage of maths learning that I think for a lot of us, and definitely from the maths lessons that you've written down here, that is missing is constructing meaning. And that is when students are given the opportunity to explore, to question, to experiment, and to really get a sense and an understanding of what these concepts mean. What is division? Is it grouping? Is it sharing? Is it splitting? Is it dividing? What does the word quotient mean? There are so many things that you can unpack. And so, these circles, don't let them uh, deceive you or uh, confuse it. All three phases are equally important, and one maths lesson might have bits of this, bits of this, and bits of this. It might focus a lot on this at the beginning, and then it might culminate in this in a plenary. But these, hopefully, are always going to be present in maths teaching. So, I'm now going to hand over to Ms. Hurd, and she's going to tell you a little bit about the latest research. Okay, um, one thing that's really, really important is a lot of, and even myself,